without being critical, but um, yeah, maybe we could have more of a discussion at some point here. Uh, sometimes people like to get uh, more questions in there and uh, stop the interview. It's too bad we're on Tell Talk, because if we were in the same room, I'd be able to interrupt and uh, have a little bit more to say about the direction uh, that you're going. Although you're doing just fine, I must say. Uh, there are folks, of course, in our cyber studio, or on Talk folks at the Free Family Chat Program. Of course, if you're listening over the web somewhere on a website, you might not know that. But um, we'll advertise Talk. You can actually join us if you'd like. This room seems to cover anything that's metaphysical and even some stuff that's not. Of course, metaphysics is really quite simple. It's about the invisible and most of us are very occupied with what we can see and not what we can't see. So uh, some of us wake up to the fact that there seems to be a cause behind everything that we see, and some of us uh, have inquiring minds and would like to know. Not that there are any real answers that will take you to the ultimate question, which is where I'm going to leave the interview and let my guest basically answer the question if he'd care to in any way that he would like to. I've been interviewing Grant Barlow, author of the book and website of the same name, Two Minds, One Choice. That is twominds1choice.com to check it out. Don't know how much it costs. Perhaps you can tell us that as well. But you can get his book there. And uh, he's been talking for a little over half an hour now. And we're going to be taking questions from uh, our cyber studio audience. And we've got guest 186, steel underscore IE, that's uh, recently come in. Uh, o D A A W O 29, one left shoe, sunshine, potato, Hollywood man, corn dog 316, Logan 7771, Goldilocks, c -c cold, the jazzler. Bonaire, excellent choice. Intabel, Before the World Was, that's our uh, author that we've been interviewing. Uh, we Are Free, Temper Cam and Temper Pro, who presently has their hand up and will be our first questioner on mic after I ask my guest Grant here the last question. Is there any real answer to the universe, Grant? Do any of us have any real control of being aware or not? I mean, never mind being uh, pleasured or not pleasured or suffering or in pain or anything else. Do we have actually any choice about just um, becoming totally unconscious, a.k.a. oblivion? Or is that uh, just a pretend thing? Is there any such thing as what a lot of people would call death. It's all pointing to the same question, and I'll let you answer that now. Yes, we see, when I say we, it's the, um, what we call the Guardian Alliance, or the Interdimensional Association of Free Worlds. That's the teaching that I'm currently uh, drawing to myself. They, they say that the whole cosmic structure is virtually in a perpetual motion flow, but there are only a few... Uh, areas within the cosmos that are in a state of decay and this decay came around through certain uh, choices that were made by certain race lines that went beyond the bounds of the physics of creation and uh, these particular ones have like like a virus gone into other living systems and been consuming like a vortex energy system sucking the energy out of other living systems and uh, we're one of those systems the Milky Way galaxy is just a very very small part of the cosmic structure which is in a state of fall and yes we can do something about it yes we can and uh, all the help that's needed is given to us right now through the Guardian Alliance which is you might say higher parts of our own consciousness gestalts of consciousness stations of consciousness that uh, constitute our own stepping down here you might say well God source stepped down here and it's you and uh, you got confused and misled and now you have an opportunity to uh, correct your alignments and bring the perpetual motion life flows back into the templates of your hologram yes it's quite possible and it's very probable that if you participate in it 
you would be very, very successful in realigning yourself with the perpetual motion flows of the cosmic structure. Yes, it's here now in this current stellar activation cycle. 2012 is a very real time as far as the Vortex Energy Black Hole Siphoning System program is concerned. And that is a time when there will be a lot of energy extracted from the planet into, into other matrices. And uh, we are their food, virtually energetic food, to continue to supply uh, falling matrices with sustenance. But you can shut them off and learn how to decode from those hybridization codes that have been coming into your templates through many, many years of interbreeding. And you can realign yourself with higher dimensional flows through what we call a host transplant. Host transplant being you can get your original codes back, regenerate yourself, transmute the, uh, the distortions within the templates of your hologram, and you can lift yourself up into a new reality experience of your original purpose of ascending into higher dimensions. Uh, yes, it's very, very, very probable that you will do that if you know the information. And uh, that's the whole purpose of me being here, is to share the information that, that says, yes, you can transcend the limitations and the drag down to death. Death is not organic. Death only came through uh, the distortion fields of your hologram and you not being able to make the quantum leaps into normal ascension cycle pr progress into high dimensional structure. Uh, you kept on trying but you couldn't quite make it and you ended up in a dilapidated state where time seemed to be against you and the timing cycle of death was working in you. It's not organic. Death is not organic. Life is true and death is not organic. And uh, it's what we experience here. It's not what we want to desire to have as our reality field because every time you go into death and reincarnate again, you, you lose certain quanta in the seed atom of your next incarnation and you are weaker and less able to regenerate your structure. So now's your best time, now's your best moment. Your body is your best asset. Your body is your best asset as you learn to realign the flows of life that would reconstitute the living structure of your anatomy and bring up into yourself the upwelling currents of life to transfigure your body. That's what the teaching's about and that's what all religious stories were originally about. Regenesis, bioregenesis. And uh, they're trying to do it scientifically these days but you've got to do it within yourself. And all the help that's needed is given to you right now and it's all around you just through your asking. The Guardian Alliance and uh, having a look at the website to get a few pointers on how to go about that. My website points to the website where this technology is coming from and that's my whole purpose for being here perhaps in the room today. So uh, I want to thank you for um, listening to that because I needed to say that to you uh, and you needed to hear it really. Uh, the possibility to transcend the limitations of this world is right here with you and it's given through the Guardian Alliance and my website will point you to it. Every other teaching on the planet virtually is teaching what we call reverse spiral metatronic codes of Fibonacci series of decay. And uh, you need to know how the perpetual motion life flows of the living spiral work within you and uh, how you can restore that to your template of your own holographic experience. You are in control of your vessel. and. Uh, it's given to you right now as an offer that you might receive it for yourself. So uh, we want to thank you for listening. And uh, I hope this can be replayed a couple of times because the message is very, very important and the timing is getting very critical. And uh, you can see it all around you as you see the world falling apart, left, right and centre. You need something tangible and palpable to hang on to and to practice and to perfect within yourself. And uh, I'm pointing you towards it. It's, it's my offer to you, and uh, I'm doing it myself. I'm learning the technology. So anyway, let's go on. I hand over the mic. All right. Well, we did it. All right. We didn't stick to the exact time schedule. That's what I love about uh, not being worried too much about time. My name's L.T. Bridges, and I've just interviewed Grant Barlow author of the book and website of the same name, Two Minds, One Choice. Check it out, twominds1choice.com. And regardless of what anybody thinks about what he had to say, 
we do believe here that you have a right to say it just like he does. If you would like to be interviewed, all you have to do is make that request in our room, or you can send me an email, jb at thoughtbridges.com. And there's a bunch of other ways you can get a hold of me if you're uh, going to stay tuned. And I hope you do. We're going to have questions coming up from the audience uh, for Grant Barlow. And uh, we appreciate him taking the time to stop by and uh, letting me interview him. I love interviewing people. I don't give a shit what they say. I'm here for the entertainment. My <laughs> own. And, of course, uh, all of you folks, by the way, represent my entertainment because it's a little strange. See you all as just a part of my imagination. I'm pretty awesome. <laughs> and of course, if I'm awesome, you're awesome. So, too. You. so with that, let's go to uh, our Thought Bridge Live Consider the Possibility Cyber Studio on Peltalk.com, a free family yeah. chat program where you can download it and join us. And when it pops up for the first time, just type one word and one word only, and it's Thought Bridge. P-R-I-D-G-E. Yes, it is two words, but I've made it one. And uh, we have moved our room around over the years. We've been on Pell Talk since 2002. And some of you are just uh, discovering my show and my rooms and all of that. And I like variety, so it's, uh, we've gone under a bunch of different names over the years. And we have interviewed folks. And this interview, by the way, will be coming up. Um, I've discovered that I like the fact that I have no idea what's going to happen from day to day, and I've gotten used to it. It seems to work the best. The room started up uh, because somebody started it. I didn't even know I was coming back here. Then they invited me to my own room, and it's been up ever since. And more and more people seem to be coming in without any effort, and I think that's pretty cool. So if you're one of those people that like this show, I'm willing to just go with the flow and see where it goes. If somebody in here would like to do an interview with a friend, or you would like to get uh, some other authors in here, or you'd like to find a know-it-all that wants to tell everybody they're damned. Uh, by the way, I'd like to interview Richard. Anybody know Richard? He's a good one. Uh, he's, he was in here posting a bunch of stuff. The only thing that I don't like is people just coming in and posting URLs. You know, it seems like you can do that somewhere else. That's just you know, the only thing that kind of irritates me just mildly. But um, we're going to go to uh, the audience now, and we've got apparently, it looks like enough people, so we should have some interesting questions. How many people do we have in here tonight? Let's check it out. We've got 21, which isn't too bad. And we've got a hand up already, so let's go to our first 